Yo, what's good? It's your boy JT. Y'all know what it is. Make sure y'all subscribe. So let's get into it. Y'all see the title. I'm going to just say this. Man, ain't nothing no more sick than an individual disrespecting somebody after they gone that they played cool with while they was alive. So that's why you see somebody getting for being disrespectful and certain other things that happen. Not saying it's necessary, but when you disrespect in this way, I ain't talking about Will slapping Chris for what he's still a weak joke he made about Jada. But the fact that this punk keep disrespecting somebody that's dead and gone and trying to say this and say that, whether it's true or not, you ain't have to play like this because you ain't said nothing when this man was alive. And somebody who said they've been in prison all them times and all them years, you know what you've been seen and been through. So if you a real man, you don't play games like that. But we see how this individual is now managing a rat. Everything he say he stands against. So we're going to sit here and act like this is cool. And then we got people in clubhouse or fed house, like they call it, disrespecting everybody for clout. <sighs> Playing a dangerous game so i'm gonna go ahead and play this audio and i'm gonna come back with my commentary all right you feel me um what just up? for the chat because you know i represent the chat yeah. a lot of people saying what's up with the audio when you were saying you got some gay shit on nipsey i'm i'm really with you with you are a hundred percent honey ent i just want to address what the chat is saying and that's what they what do you mean what's up with the audio yeah, nigga that's what we're talking about nigga Dude, that's what it is. What you mean? It is. It's definitely. This shit ain't nothing new. It's just due to y'all. 100%. 100%. Yeah, I just want to make sure Niggas niggas know it exists. That. So that nigga heard it straight for what? And listen, and listen, and for the record, for the record, it been whacked for three years making sure it ain't came out. This nigga's on this Here motherfucking stage. Y'all hear him. Nigga, 100%. This nigga's on this stage that that know that they seen that man come to my studio but I gotta talk this man out of not taking a half a million and taking a million and taking this and taking that that's why I was telling niggas hey look my nigga ain't nobody trying to disrespect that man my nigga if I was on some bullshit nigga I'd, exactly. I'd, I'd, let, I'd let that come out y'all stop talking about whacking the goo so y'all hear that y'all hear the disrespect now he trying to act like everybody heard this, heard that. Then he says new to y'all. Never heard it before. Nobody's saying that. So now you mean to tell me three years after this man been gone, all of a sudden we hear it? Yo, Hassan, shout out to him. He exposed it. You saying it's new to y'all, but then you say y'all know y'all heard this, but now you saying it's new to y'all. New to who? You run out the mouth too much, man. And it, and it's so sad because this one right here, wait, wait. He's saying it's true like it was all right and I helped him. And it... Gotta have mercy on your soul, nigga. Because this right here, I think, gonna be something totally different than you saying Nip, God rest his soul, wasn't a legend because of the music at the time until he, he was, you know, killed. It's untimely death, God rest his soul. But this one right here, I don't, I don't, I don't think this is gonna slide with somebody knock you out and call you allegedly, call you and apologize, straight up and down. And this is the problem we have: our so-called OGs. When you get a certain age, past a certain thre threshold, it it don't mean you deserve respect anymore nowadays because the OGs ain't respectable no more. So when I hear women say certain things, matter of fact, man, I pray for this individual family and loved ones that's around him that still keep rocking with him, even though he's saying disrespectful stuff. Like, this is the thing. 
from my understanding allegedly this dude ain't even from a certain part of of the state and city and saying the stuff that he says and then you mean to tell me you want to keep using big you name and this one even if god forbid god forbid it was true you think big you gonna be cool with you running your mouth like that no nah. and nothing he can do and you dug in yourself digging yourself a deep hole on some Hollywood shit and you always want to holler what set you from I don't think they can help you on this one matter of fact forget think they can or can't you know no disrespect to anybody but this one I don't think they gonna want to and I don't think B you gonna give a damn because he even addressed that he ain't cool with it. he like you gonna do what you do basically it sound like to me B you been saying or said in that instance hey you gotta deal with your consequences and this is sad and fucking sick that we seeing stuff like this from older dudes that's supposed to be setting an example. But even big, you said this on the Breakfast Club. Just because you're older, that don't make you an OG. That don't mean that youngsters gonna respect you. Especially if you still acting like them. That's some real shit. Rest in peace with Nipsey Hussle. Shout out to his loved ones, his family and friends to his people, his community, you know what I'm saying? His homies, you know what I'm saying? It's sad, man. It's sad. And that's why I'm going to leave this on this note. For all you youngsters out there, be careful who you deal with, man. It can cost you a lot. So protect yourself. And like my big bro, the poet keeps saying, keep living, keep saying good morning. This your boy JT, uh, opposite from the norm. We'll be back with more. Make sure y'all hit me out. Yeah, out the real, that's what God trying to give you. This kind of stuff, it ain't worth it. You already go through enough with your family and friends at times. So, leave them streets alone. All right?